Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is a video of our squirrel plinker. This is a Savage Mark II. It's a 22 caliber bolt action rifle. I bought this for my son seven or eight years ago for his birthday. And as you can see, there's no scope on this rifle. And so I've been shooting this gun uh, with these iron sights. I've been telling myself that if I use these iron sights, uh, it forces me to work on my fundamentals and make me a better marksman but uh last year after a few squirrels had gotten away from me i decided that this year i'm going to throw on a scope this is not a very expensive gun so i wanted to build a budget friendly package so i started looking online on amazon and i went out and picked up this rail from egw and then i also picked up some scope rings from utg one inch scope rings and then i also picked up the simmons 4x32 scope this rail here is actually really well made um, looks pretty solid and pretty sturdy to me so i'm just going to go ahead and mount this on and see what it looks like here are the rings from utg these are one inch rings and they also feel pretty solid and sturdy to me. This is the scope that I bought for the rifle. It's a Simmons 4x32. It's not a very expensive scope, but for my purposes of shooting squirrels, I think this is going to do the job. All right, I'm going to mount the rail to the rifle here. As you can see, there's four holes on the top of the gun here. And I cleaned them out, make sure that they're clean. And I'm just going to line up the rail with the holes there. And I'm just going to lightly screw uh, the screws in. And uh, I'll go back later on and torque everything down and tighten it up. But for now, I'm just going to loosely mount everything on here and see what it looks like. Okay, so now I'm going to mount the scope rings onto the rail. I'm just going to hand tight these down and I'll go back and tighten them up later and make my adjustments. Okay, I'm going to throw on the scope now. Again, I'm just going to hand tighten everything down. I'm just going to eyeball this and uh, then I'll go back and level it out. Okay, here is the final product. I'm actually quite happy. I think this is looking pretty awesome. The scope, the rings, the rail, they all fit into each other perfect. The bolt here clears the scope. The cutout on the rail matches exactly with the injection port, so uh, it's a perfect fit. Um, now all I have to do is find a range, get this thing zeroed in, and then uh, tighten everything down, get everything torqued down to the specs and leveled out, and then hopefully I have one more crack at these squirrels and see how this whole package comes together thanks for watching